So your life will take off for you whenever you choose for it to. You have not so chosen as yet. You have procrastinated, prolonged, protracted, protested. Now it is time that you promulgated and produced what you have been promised. To do this, you must believe the promise and live it. You must live the promise of God. The promise of God is that you are his son, her offspring, its likeness. But you recoil at being called his equal. It is too much to accept, too much bigness, too much wonderment, too much responsibility. For if you are God's equal, that means nothing is being done to you and all things are created by you. There can be no more victims and no more villains. Only outcomes of your thought about a thing. I tell you this, all you see in your world is the outcome of your idea about it. Do you want your life to truly take off? Then change your idea about it, about you. Think, speak, and act as the God you are. Of course, this will separate you from many, from most of your fellow humans. They will call you crazy. They will say you blaspheme. They will eventually have enough of you and they will attempt to crucify you. They will do this not because they think you are living in a world of your own illusions, but because sooner or later, others will become attracted to you and to your truth for the promises it holds for them. Here is where your fellow humans will interfere. For here is where you will begin to threaten them. For your simple truth, simply lived, will offer more beauty, more comfort, more peace, and more joy, more love of self and others than anything your earthly fellows could contrive. And that truth, adopted, would mean the end of their ways. It would mean the end of hatred and fear, and bigotry, and war. The end of condemning and killing that has gone on in my name. The end of might is right. The end of purchase through power. The end of loyalty and homage through fear. The end of the world as they know it. And as you have created it thus far. So be ready, kind soul. For you will be vilified and spat upon, called names and deserted. And finally, they will accuse you, try you, and condemn you, all in their own ways. From the moment you accept and adopt your holy cause, the realization of self. Why then do it? Because you are no longer concerned with the acceptance and approval of the world. You are no longer satisfied with what that has brought you. You are no longer pleased with what it has given others. You want the pain to stop, the suffering to cease, the illusion to end. You have had enough of this world as it presently is. You seek a newer world. You seek it no further. Now call it forth. Go first to your highest thought about yourself. Imagine the you that you would be if you lived that thought every day. Imagine what you would think, do, and say, and how you would respond to what others do and say. Do you see a great deal of difference between that projection and what you think, do, and say now? You should, since we know that right now you are not living your highest vision of yourself. Now, having seen the differences between where you are and where you want to be, begin to change, consciously change your thoughts, words, and actions to match your grandest vision. This will require tremendous mental and physical effort. It will entail constant, moment-to-moment -moment monitoring of your every thought, word, and deed. It will involve continued choice-making, consciously. This whole process is a massive move to consciousness. 
What you will find out if you undertake this challenge is that you've spent half your life unconscious. That is to say, unaware on a conscious level of what you are choosing in the way of thoughts, words, and deeds until you experience the aftermath of them. Then when you experience these results, you deny that your thoughts, words, and deeds had anything to do with them. This is a call to stop such unconscious living. It is a challenge to which your soul has called you from the beginning of time. That kind of continual mental monitoring seems as though it might be terribly exhausting. It could be, until it becomes second nature. In fact, it is your second nature. It is your first nature to be unconditionally loving. It is your second nature to choose and to express your first nature, your true nature, consciously. So, do you want your life to take off? Begin at once to imagine it the way you want it to be and move into that. Check every thought, word, and action that does not fall into harmony with that. Move away from those. When you have a thought that is not in alignment with your highest vision, change to a new thought, then and there. When you see a thing that is out of alignment with your grandest idea, make a note not to say something like that again. When you do a thing that is misaligned with your best intention, decide to make that the last time. The first thing to understand about the universe is that no condition is good or bad. It just is, so stop making value judgments. The second thing to know is that all conditions are temporary. Nothing stays the same. Nothing remains static. Which way a thing changes depends on you. What the soul is after is the highest feeling of love you can imagine. This is the soul's desire. This is its purpose. The soul is after the feeling. Not the knowledge, but the feeling. It already has the knowledge. But knowledge is conceptual. Feeling is experiential. The soul wants to feel itself, and thus to know itself in its own experience. The highest feeling is the experience of unity with all that is. This is the greatest return to truth for which the soul yearns. This is the feeling of perfect love. Perfect love is to feeling what perfect white is to color. Many think that white is the absence of color. It is not. It is the inclusion of all color. White is every color that exists, combined. So too is love not the absence of an emotion, hatred, anger, lust, jealousy, covetousness, but the summation of all feelings. It is the sum total, the aggregate amount, the everything. Thus, for the soul to experience perfect love, it must experience every human feeling. How can I have compassion for that which I don't understand? How can I forgive in another that which I have never experienced in myself? So we see both the simplicity and the awesome magnitude of the soul's journey. We understand at last what it is up to. The purpose of the human soul is to experience all of it so that it can be all of it. How can it be up if it has never been down, left if it has never been right? How can it be warm if it knows not cold, good if it denies evil? Obviously the soul cannot choose to be anything if there is nothing to choose from. For the soul to experience its grandeur, it must know what grandeur is. This it cannot do if there is nothing but grand. And so the soul realizes that grandeur only exists in the space of what is not grand. The soul, therefore, never condemns that which is not grand, but blesses, seeing in it a part of itself, which must exist for another part of itself to manifest. The job of the soul, of course, is to cause us to choose the grandeur, to select the best of who you are without condemning that which you do not select. This is a big task. 
taking many lifetimes. You are wont to rush to judgment, to call a thing wrong or bad or not enough, rather than to bless what you do not choose. You do worse than condemn. You actually seek to do harm to that which you do not choose. You seek to destroy it. If there is a person, place, or thing with which you do not agree, you attack it. If there is a religion that goes against yours, you make it wrong. If there is a thought that contradicts yours, you ridicule it. If there is an idea other than yours, you reject it. In this you err. For you create only half a universe, and you cannot even understand your half, when you have rejected out of hand the other. Healing is the process of accepting all, then choosing best. Do you understand? You cannot choose to be God if there is nothing else to choose from. The highest feeling is perfect love. This is God. This is that which you are. This is that which is all.